guys, today I'm on my alt, um, this awake, well actually I'm asleep, <laughs> um, but this is my alternate account, one of them, we're gonna be showing the basics of graveyard, how it's played, when you should play your graveyard, when you should just chill, I'm gonna go over all of it, and we're gonna make this into a series where I'm gonna do part one, and part one is gonna be, I mean, bottom of the bottom, you just picked up Graveyard for the very first time, and you don't know much about it, and you don't know much about how it works. And then I'll go into a part two, <clears throat> where I'll go more in depth, and then a part three, and if people want, I will keep, I'll keep going all the way up until my trophy range, um, and I will kind of just show you guys how to master it, we'll start a chest, and uh, we'll jump right into it, into a battle, and uh, hopefully I can give you guys some good tips while I play so um most of the time with like a, this starting hand you got your building you've got your spell and then you've also got your tornado um the spell could be different maybe it's fireball in your deck doesn't really matter but in this situation we're just gonna chill um because I have a really good cycle like think about it if he goes like golem first play I could go bowler if he goes P.E.K.K.A first play I could either I could have tesla or I could have bowler I'm going to decide to bowler because I don't, the, and the reason why is because <clears throat> I don't know what he has yet, and I feel like Tesla, like if he like goes opposite lane, is a little bit stronger, so um, we're just going to Tesla like this, and I'm going to let the bowler die, just because there's no point in protecting it, the Tesla's going to completely take it out, um, and then we can just Valk on top of his uh, wizard and his skeleton army, and that's a dead P.E.K.K.A. and a dead skeleton army. And so now he's going to have to deal with that. So we're just going to Ice Wizard down low. And I know I'm up Elixir because he dropped that Princess super late. So in this situation, it's um, an okay poison to poison that. And it's actually a really good poison because the Witch walks across. And uh, yeah, he dropped the Witch right into it. Um, yeah, and the Witch actually dies. So I'm just going to bowl her down low because I'm pretty sure I'm up Elixir. And so... Not playing our graveyard, not playing our tornado. We have no reason to play either one of these cards yet. They're just kind of dead cards. Um, okay, we're gonna drop skeletons in, like just down here, and I'm gonna cycle to my graveyard because I didn't know I was up that much elixir. So I'm gonna graveyard now. Um, maybe not like the best graveyard because like he didn't let my bull cross the bridge, but that's okay. And so we're gonna Tesla over there. And Ice was on the right. That way he can't, like, if he goes in for, like, a fireball, he can't fireball both. And because he dropped that mini peck at the bridge, we're going to protect our Tesla with just skeletons. And then um, I can actually go in for another bowler. That's going to completely stunt everything. Um, wow. Interesting how that witch actually stayed alive, so that's okay. Just going to Tesla high to kill the princess. And then... Uh, Ice was down low. That was a bad ice was because it's going to splash my tower, but that's okay. Um, we're just going to Valkyrie down low. So you notice, like, we went in for that one graveyard, and I got punished kind of hard for it. So we're not going to go in for a graveyard until I know for a fact that I'm up Elixir and that he hasn't done anything. So right here, I mean, this could be a good tornado, like, depending. I don't even think I'm going to have to just because look at the boar splashing everything. Yeah, so now that he dropped the princess, I'm going to bowler and then, like, tornado it so that that bowler kills that princess in the back. And now that that's gone, I can basically, um, graveyard. And I know he's going to play his skeleton army. Yep, there it is. So we can just poison that immediately. And I think that's going to be game, guys. I don't... Oh, he, he actually zapped on defense, so maybe not. So we can just Tesla in the middle again. Um, we'll Valkyrie over here because, uh, that... Mini P.E.K.K.A. died and the princess was about to get reset. And uh, we don't have to do anything. We'll just draw some skeletons. And then we'll just do Bowler in the back again. Um, yeah, the skeleton's going to help keep my Tesla at full health. Then we can just Ice Wizard in the back. We, like, we only have spells in a building in our, in our deck right now. So we're going to place our Tesla back down. That way he can't really play anything. We're going to Poison. And then just Tornado. So that that um, Bowler once again splashes the... The wizard, um, this time, if I can get down the skeletons, yeah, there we go, I got down some skeletons, just a tank for a second, and then, uh, we can just bowler once again, you guys are seeing a very common theme here, look at the bowler, it's gonna get so much value versus the, um, 
that wizard, he drops the skeleton army into it. And, I mean, we could go in for a graveyard now. Like, my Valkyrie is now tanking for that tower. Like, you can see how the tower is shooting at my Valkyrie. So, like, it's not shooting at the skeletons that are all spawning around it. And uh, that's an easy first dub versus Hacker US. So we'll jump into another one. Okay. Um, Alright, so this starting hand, you have a lot of options. Um, split skeletons in the back is really good play. Because then if he, like, goes Prince or something weird at the bridge, it's going to catch it. Alright, and... Once again, Boar is going to be the savior of today's match because look at the level 9 Boar versus this Ram Rider. It's not even going to get close to my tower. Um, and now he's going to have to deal with that Boar, so I'm actually going to go opposite lane with a Valkyrie, like all the way behind my King Tower, just setting up a big push. And uh, depending on what he does for that Boar, I might Tesla. Okay, I'm going to Tesla anyways, so that when that Princess um, gets close... Oh, okay, the Boar actually splashed the Princess. Still, Tesla placement right there isn't too bad. Because it's going to like take care of the mini P.E.K.K.A. And take off some health from the wizard as well. And I think my Ice Wizard is going to survive. Okay, so you can just tornado this to your King Tower. The way you just watch me do. Super good play. Um, okay, so he's going to go... Right there, so we're going to drop the Valkyrie at last second so that like King Tower and the other tower help it out. See how I dropped it right here? Because once I activated King Tower, if you drop your troops like right here on the inside, like if he went left lane, we would have dropped it right here. If he went right lane, we would have dropped it right here. But basically, it's so that all three towers shoot at it. So it's like you're having troops that you don't actually have, you know? It's a super good strategy. So he's going to go Ram Rider, noticing I don't have my Bowler in cycle, but that's why Tesla is so strong. Um, I think because his Ram Rider is level 10, uh, I'm actually going to have to drop a board still, but that's okay. Um, and we can just chill here and wait. Okay, so he's going to go, um, Wizard, so I'm just going to poison it. Uh, just so it dies on his side of the map. I had a feeling he was going to mini P.E.K.K.A. So now we can just Skeletons in the middle, and that's going to completely defend that. And then we can Valk in the front, and Ice Wizard in the back. And, uh, that's not going to be any hits. That's a super easy way to, um, to, like, confirm that you're not going to get any hits. We're going to wait and see what he does. Like, yeah, I kind of knew he was going to Mega Knight. So we can, like, bore like this and just kind of help out my Ice Wiz. And uh, we're going to poison that wizard. Yeah, wizard actually gets hit with a, a boar shot as well. So we're just going to drop skeletons and the Ice Wiz back down here. He's probably going to go in for, like, a another barrel, yep. So, we'll just Valkyrie like that again. Um, he's going to Wizard again next to his Princess, so we may as well just pre-poison. Um, yeah, or, or, you know, it's not even bad value to just get the Princess. <clears throat> We're going to drop a Boar down here, and then drop Skeletons like this. And then we'll drop our Valk. Um... And then we'll go in for a high Tesla. There we go. And then we will tornado that away. So that those don't get any shots. Um, okay, so. This situation, he's just going to Mega Knight again. So yeah, we're just going to let him do that. We'll cycle some skeletons in the back. And then we'll bore like this. So that the boar splashes everything. And I'll even Valk on the left side just to help kill that Ram Rider. Just to make sure that the um, everything kills it. And uh, now that he dropped that, <clears throat> he dropped the barrel on that side so you can kind of see. So we're just going to tornado it so that my uh, Ice Wizard can just splash it all. If he protects his princess, then we're going to poison it because it's really annoying. And as soon as he's done with that, <clears throat> then we're going to go in for another bowler. We're actually going to Tesla because that... Um, Ram Rider wasn't getting stunted by the... <clears throat> it wasn't getting stunted by my boar. And we can just Skeletons in the back. And then Valkyrie right on top of the wizard. And I think we're up a little bit of Elixir, so we're actually going to go in now for our first graveyard. And I don't think he's going to be able to defend this very well. Um, yeah, he's not. 
So we're gonna tornado it, everything like that, so that the um, Mega Knight doesn't jump on my tower, and yet it's gonna get splashed. So, not a bad play by us. We're gonna protect our Tesla, and then we're gonna bore. We only have to survive for a couple more seconds, guys. So we're gonna tornado those away. And it looks like that's gonna be GG's. So, we had to play it super slow, and like we were playing the boar the same lane that he was playing his ram rider <clears throat> every single time after i saw that he was playing that and like you gotta be super aware of what cards do you have that counter their cards and you gotta like try not to cycle those cards or if you do then you need to make sure that you're gonna cycle a couple more cards before he can get back so like maybe going for a graveyard after you just use your best counter so he can't go in you know, like, let's say I used my boar there, and then he goes Ram Rider in the opposite lane. Then I would have went for a graveyard. That way, at least, like, I'm going to get damage. And, um, yeah, so, basically, and, like, that way he wouldn't have went Ram Rider, because he would have tried to defend first. <clears throat> so, he's going to go Bandit, so we're just going to Skeletons, and then Valkyrie next to the skeleton, so it doesn't dash onto it and take away all its health. And I guess we'll see what he does. I'll probably Tesla, like, right here for the first time to make sure he can't snipe it. Yep. So, he's going to go Witch. You guys probably see Witch all the time. I'm not used to facing Witch, but... Um, so, because we have the... Okay, never mind. So, this is going to be a super good tornado, guys. Watch this tornado. See how I'm just waiting till last second? And now, that Ice Wizard just got so much tornado value, it's unreal. And we'll just skeletons that last second. And it looks like that's going to be a really clean defense. And I know that we're up Elixir. So because I know that we're up, we're just going to go for a graveyard. Especially since he just spent everything he had at the bridge like that. So now he drops a, that wizard. We can actually poison that. And the bandit might die. I, I don't know. But I know that the, um, the wizard is for sure going to die. I think the bandit might get a dash. Yeah. Just because I'm a, a one level lower than him, the bandit got a dash. Otherwise, <clears throat> it wouldn't have gotten a dash if my tower was level 9. That's okay, though. Um, so he's got a really interesting deck. And Bowler, I mean, completely destroys this guy's deck. If he tries to drop, like, a Night Witch behind this... Okay, so he's going to go in for another Mega Knight. This is going to be the way you guys, you guys are going to want to stop Mega Knights, right? Don't let it jump. Watch this. I'm going to Tornado the bandit so that it doesn't dash and then just drop another another bowler so we cycled two bowlers there so i think we're good to go in for a graveyard and a poison because he's gonna have to play something else into it or he's gonna play mega knight at the bridge but while um that wizard just gets destroyed and so right here we can just drop an ice wiz and a valkyrie right here um, a couple tiles away from it so that it doesn't jump and we'll drop the skeletons behind just to help it out um, Okay, so he has e giant so we're gonna bore down here and I'm gonna show you guys the perfect Tesla placement. So this is the middle of the tile, right? We're gonna go one tile to the right Okay, I actually messed it up um, <laughs> Wow, that's okay Um we're going to skeletons like this, and then we'll bowler so that that um, doesn't jump at all. And we're going to Tesla again. Yep, to distract and kind of help take out everything. <clears throat> and now we're going to Valk to protect our um, bowler. And uh, we're going to skeletons just so that bandit doesn't dash. And I'm going to have to bore it last second, just so that um, that bandit doesn't dash on my tower. That's okay with me. I mean, he just used a bunch of elixir. So, it looks like he's up by about four elixir, so we're just going to Tesla in the middle again. This time we'll go a little bit lower. Um, and then we'll Ice was down low. So I'm trying to avoid um, any spell value he might have. So we're going to we're gonna Valkyrie like this, and then I'm going to wait a second. Okay, now I'm going to poison everything. And then do that, yep. I'm going to cycle back to another Tesla. And then Valkyrie to protect my Tesla. I know he's going to go in for a bandit at any second. So 
we're just gonna skeletons like this so that that still doesn't jump we're gonna bowler in front and then we're gonna graveyard guys this is the perfect time to graveyard he just went all in with that um e giant this is basically ggs because i can just tornado everything into his tower and look at that bowler splash that bowler just splashed for to win the game right there i don't know if you guys picked up on that i might slow it down in the replay but um basically the bowler helped out a shit ton right there um, we will play one more and get to 4,800 trophies as a level 8. So we're going going against David. Um, I think that's the cat face. <laughs> okay, so once again, we're just going to wait. Um, if he's going to Tesla, though, then we're going to bowler like this. And if he wants to go in for like um, an expo, usually when people have Tesla, it means expo, but... I mean, this is a really low trophy range, so, you know, it's kind of different. Um, okay. So, we're going to Tesla like that, just so that um, it will help take care of that P.E.K.K.A. quicker. And then we're going to Bout. And we're going to Poison everything. Just because he, like, just dropped everything into it. Um, gave me so much value. Then we're going to Skeletons as soon as that um, wizard targets onto my Ice Wiz. Um, to make sure that that pack is not going to go anywhere. And my Ice Wizard gets a shot, so that's super good for me. That's like an extra 100 damage. Um, okay, so he goes in for a Zap. So, I mean, it wasn't a bad play to go bore in the back. So we're just going to bore in the back again because, I mean, we technically beat him on damage, so... Why not do, just do the same thing? Um, yeah, we're going to Tesla like this this time, though. Because I don't want him to be able to catch it with his um, with his e -whiz. And we're going to poison his wizard. And as soon as that wizard targets onto something, that's when we'll drop the skeletons. And so now he's going to have to e -whiz for my... Um, for my ice whiz and then okay so this time he actually changes up his cycle and so he goes in for guards instead so now we can just valkyrie so now he has to e whiz or he's gonna have to play a different card that he hasn't played yet so he decides to go with a different card yet um so we're gonna go in for a graveyard because he is gonna have to pekka yeah i knew he was gonna have to pekka right there um so that was a really good play by us really heads up play we're going to Skeletons early just because I know he's saving up for his wizard right now. And I don't want him to be able to wizard right on top. And then we're going to bore like this so that the um, bore splashes the wizard in the background. And you can just see, look at him. Just look at him getting taken down. Um, yeah, so we're going to go in for a graveyard. And we got the Valkyrie in front to tank. And so that's a super good play. We can Ice Wiz down here. And just get ready for his next push. We're going to Tesla in the middle. We're going to bore like this. We're going to Skeletons. And watch this tornado, guys. Look at this value of this tornado. It killed the wizard. The peck is gone. Everything that he just did was is dead. So we're going to go in for a naked graveyard, kind of. Because everything's crossing the bridge. Um, and yeah, so I only need the graveyard to get a couple shots. And then we could just poison him out. We'll just Ice Wiz to make sure that e -Wiz doesn't get any damage, but super easy last matchup there. Um, if this video, if, if you actually watch this and you learned something, tell me what you learned and tell me if I'm, if I'm saying stuff too advanced. Like, tell me if we need to go down a couple steps, you know, like with the graveyard gameplay. Like, if I need to even go a little bit lower to like really, really explain how each card can be defended... I can make a, a, a single video about how you can use Ice Wizard to defend a huge push. Or how you can use just Bowler to defend a huge push. Or how you can use just Skeletons to defend certain things. If that's what you guys want, um, let me know in the comments. Let me know like where you guys are at with Graveyard. <clears throat> like What you guys are trying to learn. What you don't know how to do. What matchups you are having trouble with. Let me know in the comments, and I will make sure to put it in the next video. Thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate each and every one of you guys who made it this far. Say Apple in the comments if you made it this far. 
and I'm going to fucking love you. Have a great day.